Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Few days back, uh, one of the subscribers of my channel requested me to do a video for the Airbus A320neo which is the default plane with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, there are right now two variants that I'm using and mostly the people are using. One is uh, the Phoenix Airbus A320 and uh, there is another one which is the Flyby Airbus A320neo. Uh, which is actually based on this Airbus A320 new, but uh, fly-by-wire has got more features, especially the electronic flight bag, which is the tab, which is there on the left-hand side of the captain's seat, and you can uh, program everything from there. And plus, you can also get uh, the flight information uh, from the SIM brief. Right now, for the Airbus A320, you cannot uh, get the flight plan from the SIM brief. If you want to do that, you can use fly-by-wire. But for the beginners and especially for the people on the Xbox, I'm just making this video so it can help you uh, to configure the MCDU, which is the multifunction control and display unit of the plane, yourself and especially the flight plan. I'm going to do a flight from uh, Lahore to Islamabad. And uh, for this, I'm not using uh, the flight planning tool, which is there in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, the videos are there on my channel in which I have told you how to make a flight plan with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. But after the fly-by-wire and Phoenix Airbus A320, I'm, I'm just using a SIM brief. So um, I'm going to select uh, uh, this uh, this airport, which is the Alamagba International Airport for Lahore. And I'm going to start uh, the flight from the gate because then the plane will be in the cold and dark state. And uh, let's see, uh, yes, it's morning time selected. Uh, so let's go and uh, um, see how we can configure the flight plan in the MCDU of the plane. So here I am in the Airbus A320neo. I'm not uh, going to take you through the startup procedures. Uh, this video is already there. It's a very uh, easy way to do it. It's not that difficult. Uh, starting uh, the Airbus A320 is slightly easier than starting the Boeing 737. So this is the MCDU, uh, Multifunction Control and Display Unit. And uh, I will just uh, touch uh, uh, the basics and I will try to keep it very simple for all those people who are no new to the uh, flight simulation. Over here on the um, MCDU, you can uh, change the brightness of the MCDU or its screen. And uh, then you have to enter some information over here. Uh, if you have made your flight plan using the Microsoft Flight Simulator, the way you have seen it uh, in the screen in the beginning of this video, then all the information is already there. But uh, right now, you have to do it yourself. Uh, so right now, um, I'm going to uh, fly from Lahore to Islamabad. That's uh, the code for um, uh, Lahore um, Airport, which is the Lamagba International Airport, OPLA. And then put slash. Just uh, keep in mind that you have to follow this, uh, this format. And uh, the destination airport is OPIS. And you can see that uh, most of the information is now there, except for two points, which is uh, the cost index and the cruising altitude. Cost index is actually a number which is given to the uh, autopilot uh, to uh, decide about the speed of the plane. The smaller the number, uh, the higher the speed, uh, the bigger the number, slower the speed. Usually it's uh, between 1 and 99. Um, so, um, the preferred uh, uh, number that I use is uh, 15, uh, but it's given by the airlines because uh, the speed actually uh, decides uh, the fuel burning rate. If you want to burn less fuel, then keep your cost index high as a number, let's say 30, 40 or 50. Then at the cruising altitude, the speed will be really slow. Uh, not really slow, that the plane will stall, but it will be slow and uh, less fuel will be burned but if the number is slow uh, is low like uh, 15 i'm entering uh, um, um, more fuel will be burned but the speed will be high uh, let's say i think if i'm uh, flying this a bus uh, with the cost index of 15 the um, uh, speed at the cruising altitude is 290 knots uh, the cruising altitude is uh, 25000 feet uh, which will be 250 you can simply enter it like this and you can see the temperature has already been uh, picked up, um, uh, which is minus 34 degrees centigrade. This is one point. Now let's go to uh, the flight plan. 
and uh, now we have to enter uh, the flight plan manually for the flight planning i'm using this tool uh, same brief um, it's a site samebrief.com you can go onto this site uh, the link is uh, g given there in the description and uh, you can uh, make the flight plan over here i'm just keeping in mind that that you guys are really at a beginners level and uh, and you have just started uh, to fly planes in uh, the microsoft flight simulator or you are on the xbox and uh, the only plane that right now you have access to is the Airbus A320 new. Although I don't have an Xbox, I have not used Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox. But many uh, people coming in and asking me questions about uh, the Xbox performance. So I'm just trying to help them out as much as I can. So over here, uh, the departure airport will be OPLA, arrival will be at OPIS, and uh, the alternate airport is again I've selected Lahore. You can select any other airport as you want. Uh, for the A-frame, it's Airbus A320neo, so you can select this one. And uh, all of the calculations will be done accordingly. You can um, ignore all this information just for the cruise. Select 15. This was actually the cost index that I selected earlier and explained it to you. And uh, the departure runway, I will select it as 36, right? And uh, you can see the SID and the star is automatically changed. And for the landing, I will be using 28 left. Now the flight plan is updated and altitude you can set it to um, initially if you are uh, logging onto the site it will say automatic but you can enter it yourself and it's uh, 25,000 feet. Now it's uh, a flight path I've explained it in one of the videos on my channel how to uh, read the flight plan. The flight plan comprises of three things um, uh, one is the SID this starting point is the SID, which is uh, standard instrument departure and star which is uh, for the arrival standard terminal arrival and this is the flight path anything in alphabetical values is a waypoint and anything in alphanumeric values is actually an airway if you go here you can see that uh, airways will be shown so j220 you can see it from here that it's an airway. So this is how you differentiate between an airway and airpoint, um, waypoint. Sorry, <laughs> uh, airport and waypoint just got mixed up. Okay, so uh, you can do this thing, and I'm telling you because uh, while entering this information in the flight plan, uh, you have to enter the airways and plus um, the waypoint. So I will now tell you how to do this. Um, initially, uh, you uh, after the takeoff, the plane will go to um, Omuki using uh, this uh, standard instrument departure which is MOOC 2D then it will take uh, an airway J220 go to Salna which is a waypoint then it will go directly towards Sialkot Sialkot is actually a waypoint but it's a VOR um, VOR stands for very high frequency omnidirectional radio uh, so it's basically um, um, a ground aid for the navigation a VORs and uh, um, so SLT is uh, a VOR, then um, another waypoint is INDEC, and then afterwards uh, there is a STAR, which is uh, the standard terminal arrival, and this actually determines how the plane will approach towards the runway. So let's get back in the plane, and over here, uh, if you see OPLA uh, from, just select this, and uh, select departure, and you can see that different runways are coming uh, with the length of the runways and plus the course. Um, I will be departing out from 36 right. You can see that uh, this 36 right is uh, 3,352 meters long and the course is 00. zero. Um, th this is why it's uh, 36 right because the heading of uh, the uh, 36 right is 360 degrees or 0. So you can select 36 right. Now you have to select the SIDS. You can scroll through the SIDS. And uh, there is a SID coming as Amuk 2D. You can see it over here in the flight plan that Amuk 2D is the SID, as I've explained it to you before. So select this and press insert. If I use it or do it here, let's say increase the range of the navigation display. You can see it. You can also go to flight plan and see the plan, uh, flight plan. And you can see that as soon as the plane takes off from OPLA, it will go to Amuk, Amuki. And uh, this is actually, uh, the whole procedure is uh, decided by uh, the SID. Then, um, 
after Umuki, there was an airway J2202 Salna. So click this option and uh, new waypoint. Just click this. Oh, sorry. Um, you can enter a waypoint over here, Salna directly, or you can select this option airways. And over here, you can select the airway on the left side and on the right side, you can select the waypoint. So after Umuki, it's J220 leading towards Salna, as I explained it to you before. And you can also refer to this, this diagram um, over here, if it's not clear. So J2202 Salna. Let's type it in and let's see what happens. J220 zero enter and s a l l n a it just disappeared let's uh, try it again so this is a very good example at times this thing will happen don't worry about it uh, you can directly enter Salna. If I enter Salna directly, let's see what happens. It's not, it's not working. But you can see the Salna, it has started to appear over here. So it's good. <laughs> the moment I pressed insert, it was there. So if you face this issue, don't worry about this. Okay. Uh, otherwise, uh, if I'm not wrong, it appears. You can, you can see it from here. Uh, but uh, after Umuki, you can see J220 over here. This is the airway coming and then this is the waypoint. And then uh, on the flight plan, you can also see that after Umuki, there is Salna. And then straight towards OPIS. Now I will add more points to it. After Salna, the plane is directly going towards SLT. So let's uh, select Salna. And uh, let's not select airways because there is no, no airway. So that's why you can directly select SLT. This is a very good route because in this there is also a waypoint and plus. Uh, now you can see that uh, the moment I entered the SLT VOR, it has uh, uh, given me a few options. Uh, VOR 30.7, uh, 31.1, 51.4 and SLT airport. It gives you this option. And you can see it's written that it's a VOR, it's a VOR and it's an NDB and uh, it's again uh, um, a ground-based uh, navigational device and uh, SLTA airport. So as I told you before, it's a, it's a VOR and plus it's uh, 30.7 nautical miles away. The rest, uh, this is 51.4 uh, uh, nautical miles away. And uh, this makes some sense, this VOR 30.7 because it's near. It, it comes over here after a salon there is SLT uh, because in some cases maybe if you're using some other airport you might see VORs with a with a distance of 100 or 50 nautical miles away or 500 nautical miles away you know it's it's not the one that you are flying to so as this is the ne um, a new one so select it and insert so you have to select the nearest point if this thing happens it works for you and now it's uh, Salna and uh, let's see what's happening so salna to salcote and then again salna is coming you can delete this and uh, insert temporary now it's good as you can see that there was some error coming. I've deleted it. Uh, this uh, line is going just straight, crossing Islamabad International Airport. Once I um, enter all of the information, then it will be correct. So after Salna, it's SLT. And let's go back. And then INDEC and INDI 1A. So after SLT, INDEC. So after SLT, I can select INDE. and insert so after salcote it's uh, index and from here now i will select the destination because after this there is a star as you can see i n d e 1 a 
So let's select the destination because in the destination you can select the star. So arrival 28 left Y. This is ILS 28 left Y, the uh, runway I will be using to land. And let's search for Indy 1A. That's it. And uh, plus, uh, there are the, no wires. You can select this, or otherwise, I know it's ISDUR. I'm not going into the uh, what you call uh, uh, the airport charts because uh, most of the people are subscribed to Navigraph. You can refer to the airport charts. Uh, most mostly the people are not, and uh, they have to search it on the Google. Uh, when I've been showing my uh, in my videos, uh, different airport charts, I've been receiving lots of questions that how do I get the charts. Initially, uh, when I started the flight simulation, I was actually downloading them from Google. Uh, Jeppesen charts, they're only for the uh, flight simulation purpose, not for the real life. They're available. You can um, type in the airport name. Let's say if you want to search it for Islamabad, you can type OPIS and then space and then airport charts. You can write it down. You can download if it's available. But if it's not available, you can subscribe to Navigraph. But still, if you don't want to do it and you just want to go like this, then I will suggest you to uh, ignore wires. Let's say if I select no wires, let's see what happens. Uh, flight planning is actually all hit and trial. Uh, you make different flight plans and then you see what's happening. So right now, it's a very good example that you can see. That the flight plan that I've made, there is, I think, it, uh, not I think, you can see it, it's a discrepancy over here. Because uh, after what you call it, uh, uh, let's, let's go over here and let's see where the error is. Now let's identify the error and let's try to fix it. It's good that it's coming in this uh, um, flight plan and we can see it. So uh, the plane uh, right now, Omuki, you can see it's on the top of the screen. Omuki is coming here. You then scroll down, Salna will come on the top and the plane will go to Salna. Then afterwards there is SLT and I think this is the issue. So SLT is just like in the open air. I can ignore this waypoint. Interestingly, I can ignore this waypoint. So let's say if I press clear and I select this, and I insert temporary and if I just use it you can see now the flight plan is good we have removed SLT so in this regard uh, you can um, change the flight plan it's not necessary that you enter every uh, information given in the uh, same brief if it's making sense over here on your navigation display it's good but if it's not you can delete any waypoint or during the flight you can press direct and then you can just fly towards any waypoint so that's very easy to do and I'm really glad that in this uh, flight plan some issues came up and uh, I just fixed them up. Initially when I was doing the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator videos or the Explain 11 videos, I used to practice um, the flight plan before making a video and once I was confident on it, I used to do it. But right now, um, after such a long time, it's been four years now, or more than four years, I'm making videos. I'm um, um, not an expert, but I have some um, uh, hands-on experience. And as you can see, that in this video, I didn't fabricate anything. It was not pre-planned or something like this. I also entered this flight plan in the MCDU just um, right in front of you guys. And you saw I had some problems, but I fixed them because that's the beauty of it. If you want to learn how to enter the flight plan in the MCDU. Uh, you should have a very good hands-on experience. You can try different airports, different routes, and you can see how uh, they are entered over here in the MCDU. And then you can modify accordingly. You can change accordingly. Let's say uh, if I don't want to uh, go like this and I want to fly directly from Amuki to Punop, I can delete Indek and Salna. I can easily do it. Let's uh, delete Salna. And let's, you can see now it's directly going towards index, and I can also ignore index. So you keep the plane, or see the now the plane is now go directly going towards Punop. So uh, this is uh, this is how it's done. And for the Isdur, um, uh, this is automatically selected. It was a wire. I ignored it, but it's coming over here. The, um, the beauty of uh, selecting the star. 
as the mcdus have got their own databases uh, so that's why they also pick up the information uh, from the database as per the ai rac cycle which is i call it the arac cycle or i think you also call it the arac cycle um if you want to see it you can just go over here you could see uh, the status of the uh, database it's updated uh, june 16 july 13 2022 so it's the it's the latest uh, arac cycle you can see over here so it's june 16 to july 13 it's it's um, like for a month i think in in the couple of few days it will be updating again uh for the for the for the next cycle and then it will come so if you want to see the arac cycle in the microsoft flight simulator you can just simply come here and check it so that's why as this database has this information so it has automatically pick up isdor which is a, which was actually a wire but while uh, the plane is landing towards uh, the 28 left at istanbul international airport isdor is the wire and you can see the airway j121 has already been selected so hopefully uh, this was a helpful video for you and you can try different uh, routes you can try different airports you can try different uh, um, uh, airbus uh, like airbus uh, a320 by fly by wire or the phoenix um, the basics and the principles remain the same if you're using them but if you're using it in xbox this is how you enter the flight plan in uh, the mcdu and uh, just one more thing i just recall let's say after amuki you want to again add salna so simply go to amuki and uh, enter salna just one little bit of uh, thing to tell you and uh, then we can just go and you can see that after amuki now salna is added it's it's so so nice you can modify your flight plan and then uh, there is also another video on my channel in which i have told you how to change the approach because right now in the flight plan i have already entered destination uh, information where opi is uh, 28 left but let's say we uh, suppose that uh, um, just before the approach uh, the atc t- um, changes the runway from 28 left to 10 right or 10 left and how do you change it this video is also there it's very easy to do it and you can do it on run time if you've got any questions do ask your questions in the comment section i will be more than grateful to answer uh, to your questions if there is a delay or uh, if i don't answer to you um, in, in 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 a very short time um, kindly accept my apologies in advance otherwise i try to answer all the questions on time and if you've got any feedback the comment section is there for you thank you very much for staying with me hope to see you soon